Right. So we're here at IFA 2012 here at Wexler. So what do your company do? Yeah, we're a manufacturer of tablets and uh, devices based on, the, or e-readers based on e-ink and uh, TFT technology. So you're the first company in the world to, to release this kind of device. Yes. So how do you do this? How That's, do you make it? Uh, how, well, through our partnership with LG, uh, we were able to develop a uh, flexible display, which is in this case a 6-inch uh, width, and um, using a polymer material. Uh, you can see using that what, this sorry? is it's a polymer type material. Uh, the device makes it, or the product itself, is the lightest product available on the market today. Um, out of all the e-readers that you see in the world, uh, makes it very light and easy uh, to uh, And it cannot store. break, right? It cannot break, it's shatterproof. Yeah, you can drop it on the floor, uh, you can bang it on the uh, table. You can throw it uh, as far as you can. And how is the quality of the screen compared to glass? Is it the same? Uh, it's the same quality. Again, it's e uh, technology, which is probably the best, uh, at this point, the best uh, technology for reading the world today. So the plastic does not change the, the, the readability? No, it does not. Alright. And so what's the new, other new kinds of things you're doing? Yes. So one, other, one other thing too about Flex yes. uh, is that it comes in different colors. So you actually have a preference of choosing uh, yeah. what color you prefer. So it looks really nice and trendy and uh, goes along with our brand name which is uh, HIP. Uh, cool and uh, slick for, for all the uh, the trendsetters. So it says here Flex 1. What does that mean? There's a Flex 2 on the works? Yes, we're developing a next generation Flex, which we hope will come out uh, in the spring of 2013. So that's like six months? Yes, from now? approximately. And can you say anything about how it will be? Or I'm sorry? Still Flex? Flexible? Uh, it will be probably flexible, although it's going to have a different design and uh, um, some other they things. have some different features, including uh, addition of Wi-Fi and possibly a touchpad. Nice. And uh, it might still be the same size screen, or it could be different size. It probably will be a six-inch at this point. Nice. So, how popular is this device? It's Can you say? Popular. Can you see something approximate? It's very popular. We're uh, developing our uh, distribution channels in Europe, and also uh, we'll plan to start selling in North America within a few months. Uh, we're also planning to exhibit at CES in January in Las Vegas. Can you say something about how mass produced it is? Is it in the tens of thousands, hundreds of thousands, or millions? Tens of thousands at this point. Because it's, a, it's still a new product. Uh, we're still uh, launching it uh, in different markets. So uh, not uh, as many people know about it uh, as, uh, as we um, uh, hope. But again, the product is new. So uh, we hope that within six months or so it will gain popularity. All right. And uh, so you're working on some tablets as well, right? Yes. So, are these new? Yeah, this is our latest uh, product for uh, the, uh, the tablet display for the IPS technology, which is a 7-inch display. So there's the power. This is already switched on for you. So. This is a some kind of screen showing. So this is a Tab 7i. So um, how much is it going to cost? Uh, where are you going to release it? Was was a video playing something? Yeah, it's gonna. We are releasing it, uh, launching it uh, last month. It has been released in the CIS countries. What does the CIA as countries? Uh, Russia, Ukraine, uh, all the uh, Soviet, ex-Soviet Republic um, countries. Uh, we're going into the Eastern European countries uh, uh, through our distribution partner, Hook House, in uh, Czech Republic. Uh, we're also going to be selling into the Western European market, and, uh, and uh, as with Flex, plan to go into North America. This video is the most beautiful. All right. So how much does it cost, and what is the CPU in there? The CPU is um, 2918, I believe. Mish, CPU 2918, does this? 2918. 2918? Uh, yes, 2918. Yeah? Yes. And uh, are you working on uh, future tablets as well? Yeah, yeah. Sure, yeah. In the marina. And, uh, it's out of charging, so we need to charge it. Uh, 
th this one based on NVIDIA Tegra 3 chip. Yeah. And uh, so the 70. Uh, 70, yeah, 70. Vexo Top 70. It's, it's got a, it has a dual core processor. Yeah. Not, du it, not dual core. Quad core. Yeah. Is it? It's five core. Five core. Five yeah, core. yeah, yeah. Sorry. Because Tegra 3 is uh, have four, four cores. So is this the final design or? Uh, it's not the final design. So HDMI, mm -hmm. micro SD. Sim? Sim car, yeah. And it also has a full USB uh, port. Yeah, full USB. Uh, you can yeah. connect uh, flash drive okay. and, for example, uh, watching a movie from, directly from flash drive. Nice. So you're going to have uh, Android 4.1? Yeah. It's 4.1. It is already? Yes. yes. All right. So how much is it going to cost? Uh, this is going to be under $300 retail. Yeah. Probably about $270, $300 max. All right. So, what kind of other things do you have? What do you do? This is LCD e-readers? Right, they're, they're, they're TFT tablets, correct. Uh, these are some of our, our newest prototypes, uh, although they're not 100% um, uh, ready yet. Um, the products are still in the development stage, but these are as close as we get to how it's going to look when the product comes out in the finish stage. Um, this is our lower end model, which is the 7205. How, how expensive is it going to be? Uh, it's going to be under $100. So. Under 100 Yes. Similar to? Yes. So buttons on the size here and uh, TFT LCD. Right. This is our uh, one of our older generation models, which uh, will be replaced by a different product, which unfortunately we cannot make on time for the for sure. Right. And these are kind of our lower cost tablets, the 7B and the 7. The 7B actually has a dual core processor, and also would be available with a 3G version. So, uh, and here you have some other models. Yes, these are our current generation uh, TFT books. Uh, which is 7006 and uh, 7007. Again, it comes in different colors. Are they all a running Android or not really? Some of them? Some of them do, yeah. Most of them Linux. So there's some Linux going on. Yeah. And uh, so, so where's your company based? It's uh, based in Chicago currently, our headquarters. And um, we are uh, looking at, uh, we also have offices in Hong Kong, in uh, Singapore, and in Moscow as well. And uh, where are most of your sales happening so far? Sorry? Where are most of your sales so far? Most of our sales are in Eastern Europe. Eastern Europe? Yes. And uh, here with IFA, you can expand? Exactly. Which This is our second year at IFA, although this is our first year with our new uh, brand uh, in terms of uh, our logo, our, uh, our company profile. Uh, we have changed our strategy from last year. We're really focusing on the European market more than ever before. Did you have a booth like this last year? Uh, we had a booth, but not like this at all. This is completely different than right. it was before. Uh, so how big do you think the flexible e-ink market is going to be? Is it going to be the main e-ink market? No, I don't think so because it's a niche market. Uh, uh, e-ink technology is um, by far and away in terms of reading uh, ability is much better than TFT technology. but. Um, the TFT uh, models are, are less expensive and uh, consumers gravitate more towards the lower cost options. So e-ink will always, I believe, be um, the second um, uh, player in the marketplace. Uh, however, uh, again, it, uh, the flexible display has its own niche. So it's, it's based on something unique and something innovative, so it's not for everyone. And also in the price range that uh, not everyone can afford. How much is it? Uh, it's going to be around uh, 170, 180 uh, US dollars.